Hi, this is Neil Walters with neilsvideos.com and freebitcoinminicourse.com. If you're looking into Bitcoin and the other cryptocurrencies or altcoins, one of the things you're going to hear about quite often is something called market cap or market capital. In this video, I want to give you a quick understanding of what market capital means. If you go to a website called coinmarketcap.com, you can see all the different types of coins there are and what their market cap is. And so you see Bitcoin is number one here at $31 billion. And now what is market cap? It's basically the price of the coin times the number of coins in supply. So you can take the 16 million some Bitcoins times 1894.27 and you're going to get this market cap price. Now, of course, if Bitcoin was to go up to 3000 again, then that price market cap would go up a lot. And you can see Ethereum is number two. And right now there's a concept they actually call the flippening. And that is when Ethereum will rise above Bitcoin to become number one. And uh, it may be Ethereum or it could be any one of these other coins, but most people are guessing right now that Ethereum would be the next one to maybe pop up to the top. So now let me show you a few more things about this site. Um, number one is over here you have little price graphs for each uh, coin. And so here's Bitcoin. If you click on this, I'm going to do a right click, open a new tab. You get the price chart. And, you know, you can see basically right now it's going back since June of 2013. If you want to just see the last year, for instance, you can come up here and click one year. And you see two, two lines on here. The top one is usually the market cap. Well, it's not always the top one, but I think usually it's the top one, market cap. And then the bottom one is the current price. And you can see they kind of stay in sync with each other. The price is over here on the right side in U.S. dollars, and the market cap is over here on the left side. I think that's also in U.S. dollars. And you can also change this to like seven days or one day or whatever to see what the market is doing, like the current day or the current week. So that's a nice tool. You can also put in any specific date you want right here. So that's how you can see the price charts. Now back over here, what if we scroll down? Let me just go all the way to the bottom. You can see by default they're showing 100 coins here. So you may not even know that there are actually over 100 types of uh, currencies out there. Uh, some people would call them Bitcoins, but technically Bitcoin is uh, it's a, it's a brand name. And it's kind of like the old uh, word of the... Uh, generics like you know some people say give me a kleenex well what they really mean is give me a tissue because kleenex is a brand name okay so bitcoin is the brand name and all these other coins are either called coins altcoins or cryptocurrencies so if you scroll down it would actually probably pay you to do good to i mean it'd be, it'd be worth your time to learn about the top say 25 coins because if you're going to invest in these coins you need to know what they are and what their purpose is for example Ethereum is going to allow smart contracts. That's what its benefit is over Bitcoin. And I'm currently reading some books on Ethereum right now and learning some of the programming languages of that. Ripple is more of a system that's probably going to be used by banks. Uh, Litecoin, I don't know much about yet, but uh, it's one I need to study more. Ethereum Classic is similar to Ethereum. They actually did what's called a fork uh, a while back. And so the, the blockchain forked and those who own the old coin own the old coin and then they also own the new one and now they each trade separately. There's a Dash coin. I have no idea what NEM is. IOTA is the Internet of Things. Monera, Tether, BitConnect, Stratus, EOS. Is a, that, that's one there. some people are saying might be the Ethereum killer. It came out in just uh, July of this year. Uh, like two or three weeks ago, actually, from the date this video is made, and they've already raised $220 million market cap, which is rather incredible. Okay. Or $268 million here. Zcash, AntShares, BitShares is one I'm very interested in right now. I've invested in that. It's kind of like a penny stock. See, it's only worth right now $0.09, cents, and it actually was up to $0.25 cents a few weeks ago, or almost $0.30. Cents. So you could potentially triple your money there if it goes back up to $0.30. Cents. And I'm not going to go through all these. Steam is an interesting one because there's a website called Steamit where you can blog and content and, I mean, post on other people's content, reply to them, and you can earn Steam, which is then tradable on the market here. So the list goes on and on. So let me show you some other things on this site. Right here, you have market cap. By default, it's showing you uh, the most uh, recent 100. Oh, sorry, this is where I'm going to go down here. So you have currencies and assets. 
There's slight different there. If you if you do currencies top 100, you're going to get a slightly different list. And then what an asset is is a, is a coin that can run on somebody else's chain. So let me let me show you what assets look like. So under assets, for instance, here there's a coin called Tether, and it runs on the Omni. I don't know anything about Omni. Uh, EOS is a better example. I know more about it. That's the new Dan Larimer. Ethereum killer, they supposedly say, and he actually used Ethereum to sell his uh, tokens or coins. Golem is another one I've heard a little bit about. It's running on the Ethereum blockchain. So you can see then that Ethereum itself has different types of assets that are created and run on its blockchain, which is kind of a cool concept. So for example, Tether is an asset. So if you go to currencies and do the top 100, you won't see Tether here. But if you go to all, you're going to be seeing the currencies and the assets. So that's pretty much what I wanted to cover about market cap. And I just want to remind you that I have a website called freebitcoinminicourse.com. And there you can learn what is a Bitcoin, what are Bitcoin wallets, what are any downsides or cautions you must take about Bitcoins. And this applies to altcoins as well. How to make money with Bitcoin, the Bitcoin Wealth Club, day trading with Bitcoins, how the world is changing with the, the whole cryptocurrency markets on ramps, how to buy your first cryptocurrency, and then some documentaries about Bitcoin. And I'm going to add this video, for instance, that I'm making right now into one of those chapters or create a new chapter or a new lesson for market cap. So be sure and check out this course, freebitcoinminicourse.com, to get started in learning more about Bitcoin and the other coins. So this has been Neil Walters with NeilsVideos.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.